am I sitting this way when the front of the van is behind me? Ooh, this one's gonna be a gooder. Today's project is this. So I got my swivel finally. After I install, let's see how easy this is. Got two bolts here. I believe they're 18 mil. And then up front, yeah, we can't see that. I'm gonna have to get better lighting, but I'm gonna need a Torx. Let's get this started. Two Torx out. That's what they look like. This is what it looks like. And this is what you need to get that out. Much easier than taking those passenger seats out. Those passenger seats were nearly impossible for one person to do just like this. You had to have somebody under the car to hold the nut while you loosen from the top. And there was no way. So it lines up. Thank you. Lines up. And that's what it'll look like in. So I'm just going to tape this off, mark it off somehow cut the carpet out and put this thing in. Four bolts to get rid of there. Yep. So I'm going to loosen those up and get my chair off. I didn't do this on camera, but I had some leftover thin insulation that I was putting in under the floor here. So I just put it on here, glued it down. I don't want the metal with that, with the metal on this to rattle. I don't know if it's gonna rattle, but just in case. Now I cut into this a little bit. You can see where I cut. I might have to spray over that with some primer. I don't want it to rust. Only one way to put it in. The swivel handle is back here, so it's not going to be by the door. So this fits like a glove. I might want to cut a little notchy notch right here. This is why you want to cut a little notch in that carpet so you can pull this wire out so it doesn't pinch when you're bolting this thing down. Let's see if this swivels now. Huh, it's supposed to swivel when you hit that. There you go. Oh yeah, nice and smooth. Look at that, slow, super smooth. Truth. Oh, Boom. We just opened up the space. One of the best mods. Boom. 